Hey everyone, it's ATS Diecast with another video. Back with the second video for today because I'm doing a double upload today. And today we're going to be looking at Blue Collar Series 8. Um, I know this has been on the page for a little while now. I just, for some reason, never got my hands on it. And I did, obviously, recently. And I think it's a pretty solid set. There's some cool pieces here for sure. Um, I think these are definitely the highlights of the series. Um, as per always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging uh, and the cars, and then we'll cut the video, open them up, and show them up close. So, the first one we'll look at is the 79 F150. I love this brown, so 70s. Little white wall there, cool wheels. Yeah, one of my favorite um, truck castings from Green Light. Something's pretty dang cool. They haven't changed the packaging at all from the blue collar series. Pretty plain, pretty basic. Next is this 92 Ford Bronco in blue. Pretty cool chrome wheels there. Yeah, I dig this. Next is this Jeep Jeepster Commando. This is an excellent tooling from Greenlight that we didn't expect. Kind of a peg warmer, but uh, it is an excellent tooling. You've got the spare tire in the back. Well executed, like this one, of course. It's blue, my favorite color. There's like a lot of blue cars in this series. Next, everyone loves the square bodies. This 81 C20 Custom. It sits really low though, which is surprising. Um, Champion DJK talked about it too that uh, these square bodies from Greenlight aren't being scooped up like other brands like M2 and stuff. I'm not really sure why. Um, fine by me, easier to find for me. I like this one, I do like those wheels, they're pretty cool. Something different. And next, we'll look at this GMC Vandura 2500. In this old school Union 76 livery. I dig that. Very old school. I wonder if they should like find major companies across the states and different countries, whatever, and like UPS or, or Canada Post or whatever, just major companies for these delivery vans and then make liveries for them. That'd be pretty interesting. Um, you kind of need to see that other than ups maybe because we we know obviously ups they make some of those but something different that, that we don't usually see but that are major companies um this uh 68 volkswagen double cab pickup as we've seen a bajillion of these in the past still pretty cool in this pennzoil livery this one's one of their better tunes of volkswagens for sure and that is pretty much it so like i said we'll cut the video and i will be right back all right so we're back and apparently this is the set that has all the removable tops because one two three four five of the six have removable tops kind of interesting um so we'll look at this one here probably um my least favorite although i still like them all um, is this Vandura van Union 76 fantastic tooling from Greenlight you do have painted details with the chrome bumper separate piece there um, I think this is an older tooling silver painted base which is nice um, doo -doo -doo -doo. number six or five or six oh nine I think five oh nine the tooling number is right there but it's like painted over so it's, you can't really tell but I think it's an older tooling for sure maybe maybe not um a great tooling for sure from green light um the grill is a separate piece bumper is a separate piece um yeah nice little model very old school looking livery yeah i dig that one's all right and then we have this Volkswagen here. A little bit of ba uh, base lean here, but nothing too crazy. Um, removable top. Just plops back on there if I can get it. Probably not. There we go. 
Um, seems like the front windshield's super faded, but not a big deal. Lens detail, sever piece front bumper. Um, nice trim there. The livery. I'll probably swap out the white walls. No lens detail on the back, which you do a separate piece bumper. Yeah, this is their more highly detailed Volkswagen tooling. Um, bus tooling, I should say. Yeah, that one's okay. Um, not the most exciting, but still pretty nice. Um, next we'll... I'm going to jump over here because I'm going to save that one. We have this Jeepster Commando, I think it's called. Is that what is that what it's called? Jeep Jeepster, yeah. 562 or 552? Yeah. It's hard to read. I do like that this comes off. Get it off. Let's see here. We're breaking it. I don't want to buy another one. So this little piece comes off here. And then you have this standard Jeep Jeepster Commando. And. Hold up, I'm gonna get something for a minute. Give me a second. If you're thinking, oh, we already seen this one before. I don't know if you think that or not. I thought it was the same as the one I already had, but it is actually different. I don't know why I thought it was the same as this. I'm like, why have I seen this before? But I have not. They're completely different. So this is more of like the pedestrian, this is more of like the work truck. So that's pretty cool. Um, what was this from? Oh man, I can't remember now. Gosh, I've had that one for a while, I can't remember now. Um, no opening parts, um, just the removable top. This back doesn't come off, but I do like that. Spare tire in the back. Uh, painted details, separate piece bumper. Nice looking hubcaps. Just a simple, simple tooling in green light, but very, very well done. Even painted details in there. Yeah, that one's pretty nice. Let's see if I can get this top back on now. Probably not. I'm probably going to have to fight it. No, wait. I think that's the way it's supposed to go. Yeah, one's pretty cool. I like that tooling. Oh, now the top fell off again. Oh man, what did I do? Oh boy. There we go. Um, look at this four Bronco next. This thing just kind of sits on there, comes off. Um, you have a seat in the back. No tire, because the tire's there. Uh, oh, that's the Jimmy. The tire's there. Um, this just, like I said, sits on top. You do have pretty cool looking wheels. They are almost, I don't think these are factory. These might be custom wheels. Um, get rid of that, it's annoying. This Bronco emblem there. Lens detail with a separate piece grill and separate piece bumper. The grill on this tooling looks amazing. I like that blue. Even the interior is pretty cool color. Chrome looks nice. You know these little hinges here that they molded in or they made a separate piece for. Yeah, I dig that. My grandfather has a not a Bronco, but a ninety. Six F-150 so that's why I particularly like this tooling because it's very similar to it um, and yeah I take that one a lot um, what was the number on this one uh, 7116 183 is the tooling number tuck that one off on the side then we have this square body Chevy what is this C20 2798 is the number there this one's very low to the ground but near flawless um roller this does come off just kind of sits in there personally it looks better without it 
We have a separate piece grill, and that's how, like I said before, that's how they get all the different years. It's smart to do that. Hood does not open. It's um, riveted in. Some different looking wheels. I don't know enough about these. Blue interior. Great detail on the back for the tailgate. Chevy there. Painted details. Um, yeah, just a plain, simple, square body truck. Not much going on here. They weren't fancy trucks at all. Throw this back on here. I wonder if I have a black one of these. I could probably throw on from a different truck. It would look good with the black one. And next we have this F-150-1979. 1930 is the number there. 1930. 152. I dig this. So 70s. Again, removable top. I think it looks pretty good with the cover on it. Just because it fits that era for sure. Separate piece grill. Nice Ford writing on there. Colors the interior. So brown on brown on brown. Nice wheels. I like how they paint this brown on this to kind of go with the whole body line. I dig that bumper. Super old school. Such a cool, old, classic-looking truck. And that is pretty much it, guys. Yeah, I definitely dig um, these three for sure. Those look fantastic all together. And I'll have to put them in the display case shortly. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching.